Welcome to Mackie Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the isometric projections of the combination of solids using the Solid Edge software. So here we have a hemisphere whose diameter is 70 mm and is placed on the ground on its curved surface, on top of which a cone of base diameter 70 mm and height 70 mm is placed centrally. So here, before we start with the construction, let us try to analyze the problem statement. So we have got two solids here. One is the hemisphere and the uh, geometry for this hemisphere is the diameter which is measuring 70 mm. And the position is it is placed on the ground on its curved surface. So which means to tell that the flat surface of the hemisphere is the place where the cone is resting. So now a cone of base diameter 70 mm and height 70 mm is placed on this hemisphere. So you can just see that the base diameter of the cone and also that of the hemisphere, the top circle of the hemisphere are having the same diameter. So there will be a concentric circle and also there will be the circle of equal diameters. So now we will just draft the orthographic projection of the combination of these solids and later on we'll just move on to the isometric projection. So first we will begin with drawing the reference line. So since the top view of the combination of the solids will appear as a circle of diameter 70 mm because both are having the same diameter, I'll just draw a single circle which represents the top view of the solids. So you can just see that this particular circle whose diameter is equal to 70 mm represents the top view of the combination of the solids. So that is for both cone as well as the hemisphere. So now let me draw the front view. So for that we require the projections from the top view. So let me draw the diameter and from the endpoints of the diameter I will just intersect the xy line. So from the center of the circle I will draw a line in order to draw the center line or the axis line of the solids. So let me just change the line type to the chain line. So you can just understand that in the front view, the hemisphere will be seen as a inverted uh, semicircle. And uh, for this, the height will be equal to 35 mm because it is the radii. And next, the height of the cone as mentioned in the problem statement is 70 mm. So this is the height of the cone. So now let us draw the front view. So select a line of thickness 0.50. So the front view of the hemisphere, it will be having a straight line first. So 70 mm, which is nothing but the uh, diameter of the circle. So it appears as a straight line here. And the end point of this uh, uh, diameter is nothing but the starting point for the slant edges of the cone because both are having the same uh, diameters. That is the base of the cone and as well as the or top circle of the hemisphere are having the same diameter. So now this represents the front view of the cone. You can just see that this is the axis of length 70 mm and uh, the apex is being joined to the end points of the base circle. So now I need to draw the hemisphere. So let me select a circle. So this is the point, the end point of the uh, radii of the hemisphere. So now here I'm going to place a circle whose diameter is equal to 70 mm. So you can just see that it is exactly uh, touching uh, the extreme points of this straight line that is drawn. So let me just use the extend to next option. You can just see that the projection lines are also meeting the end points of this straight line. So now let me use the trim option and trim the upper half of the circle. So you can just see that the uh, hemisphere is ready and this is the orthographic view of the combination of the solids. So let me just uh, move this to a comfortable uh, position, select the move option, select any one reference point, ensuring the copies of, just move this combination. So now let me just show the parameters. So the height of the cone is 70 mm, while that of the hemisphere is 35. And the diameter of both the base circle of the cone and the top circle of the hemisphere, it is equal to 70 mm. So this is the orthographic projection of the combination of solids. Now let me move towards drawing the isometric uh, constructions. So let me select a line option again. Select a line of thickness 0.13. Let me draw the reference line. So this reference line is the ground and on this ground 
this hemisphere curved surface is touching so i need to understand that the top surface of the hemisphere is a circle so it has to appear as an ellipse in the isometric uh, construction so for that purpose i'll just take a considerable uh, distance uh, because if i draw the circle on this reference the curve might come below this reference line so i'll just take a comfortable position of any arbitrary dimension so i'll just draw a perpendicular line and from this perpendicular line let me start drawing the uh, square whose dimension is 70 because i need to draw the circle of diameter 70 so first let me draw the square of 70 mm dimension so edge length is 70 the angle is 30 similarly 70 the angle is 150 so in the isometric sheet you can just end up drawing a square of 7 cross 7 boxes so you can just see that the angle was not 150 so let me redo it 70 the angle is minus 150 next 70 and the angle is minus 30 so this is the square that i'm drawing to draw the uh, top circle of the hemisphere as well as the bottom circle of the cone so now let me use the four center method so for that i require the midpoint let me just keep the midpoint on through interly sketch so from this corner i'll join the midpoint of the opposite edges so you get the midpoint and you can just see that we are going to get four centers now to draw the ellipse so now let me select the arc by center point and uh, change the dimension of the thickness to 0 0.50 so considering this point of intersection as the first center and this distance being the length of the arc radii i am going to sweep an arc similarly i'll consider this point of intersection as the second uh, center and then sweep an arc and then this corner as one center and sweep an arc similarly this extreme corner and this entire length of the line as the arc of the radii the radii of the arc i am going to sweep an arc so you can just see that the ellipse is ready so you need not have to repeat this step again because this ellipse holds good for both the hemisphere as well as that of the cone so now let me just uh, complete the hemisphere part so let me select the arc by center point so you can just see that i'm going to uh, select this particular point uh, as the uh, first point of center so let me just keep the midpoint off now so you get this point of intersection so which is the center to draw the hemisphere and the radii is equal to this particular length the point of intersection of the arc with the diagonal of the square that we have drawn so this is the uh, radii i'm going to just sweep that in such a way that it is touching the extreme uh, uh, points on the uh, hemisphere so now let me draw the cone so let me select the line option select a line of thickness 0.13 and uh, draw the axis of the cone so the axis of the cone it is uh, uh, taken the reference from this point so the axis is 70 so here i'm constructing all the lines using the true dimensions in the isometric sheet just take seven iso uh, iso seven uh, uh, as the dimension so that is seven boxes so let me just change the thickness of the axis line So let me just get back to our continuous line of thickness 0 0.50 so this is the apex of the cone so the most important point is whenever we are drawing the slant edges of the cone so from the apex of the cone do not draw the line in such a way that you are touching the end point of this major diameter of the ellipse which is a wrong practice just ensure that the slant edge is drawn in such a way that it becomes a tangent to the arc so this arc that we have done constructing uh, considering the center two so it should be a tangent so you get to see the tangent symbol next to the cursor so just make it a tangent do not make it the end point uh, should not be touched here like this for this line so do not 
have this point of intersection just make it a tangent to the ellipse so this completes the construction of the cone so now we'll just uh, trim the uh, or change the thickness of the parts which is not visible to us uh, the trim option let me just trim this part so you can just see that a small line has been uh, protruded from the hemisphere so use the zoom options wisely so trim this so now uh, let me just change the thickness of this arc to 0.13 and the small portions of the arc so for which i'm going to use the split option so let me use the split option in extend to next so select the entire arc first and then split it at this end point of the slant edge so this is a separate entity right click come out of the split option so repeat the same step select the entire arc and split it at the point end point of the slant edge so you can just see that they are separate entities now so let me just select these two portions of the arc change the thickness to 0.13 so this part of the uh, hemisphere as well as that of the cone is not visible to the observer and that is the reason why i have changed the thickness to 0.13 mm so this is the combination of the solids so the reason for me to take the uh, distance, uh, any arbitrary distance from the reference line was just to ensure that this arc, whichever we are going to draw, uh, the curved surface of the hemisphere will not drop below this reference line. So that was the reason for me to consider a suitable distance. So now let me just uh, trim this perpendicular line and this line also and uh, draw a new reference line which is passing through the curved surface of the hemisphere so this is the baseline so now let me just uh, see that uh, the dimensions are correct see here this is the ISO 70 uh, in the isometric sheet but here it is a true 70 mm length okay so now I need to select this entire combination and change its scale to the ISO scale so ensure that all the parameters are selected in the sketch okay including the construction lines and there is an option for scale in the mirror drop down so the scale is one is to one here so let me just change this true scale to the iso scale which is equal to 0.816 so it gets converted to two digits as 0.82 ensure the copy is off and then place it at the same point so you get to see that uh, a part of the end point of the line is getting red so I'll just place it there so now let us recheck so the axis has been reduced to 0.82 times of 70 so approximately which is equal to 57.12 so this is the isometric uh, construction in the uh, software so in the iso sheet directly each box is having the isometric uh, dimension so you can just draw it as seven boxes and then draw the seven boxes square draw the circle complete the hemisphere and the cone so with this we complete the construction of the combination of the solids that is a cone of base diameter 70 mm and height 70 mm placed centrally over the hemisphere whose diameter is 70 mm and is resting on the ground on its curved surface thank you all for watching